Hey there guys and welcome to another tutorial from helpvid.net Now, we're going to create a news sitemap but there is no point in me just creating a sitemap and throwing it out there eh, without going a little bit more in depth I can actually create the sitemap in one tutorial however, I want to go a little bit more in depth and explain exactly the functionality of a news sitemap and how it can benefit your website um, the benefits of having a news sitemap and how to apply to one of the search engines to have your articles, your news stories or whatever it may be appear in their news results. Now, unlike a Google search, if you type into this bar uh, something and you're looking for something, Google will search and it will come back with results. However, they're not up to date results. Um, the news results are up to the minute. so. If you look across here, you can search for images, videos, maps, or news. Now, this is the one we're looking at here, news. So, if we just click on this, it gives us Google's news page. Now, down the left-hand column, we have the option to search for world news, UK, business, science and technology, entertainment, sports, health, and the list goes on and on. So we're just going to come into entertainment here. Now as you can see uh, this story here was released 36 minutes ago um, and it's pretty up to date. We'll come into what do we see? We'll come into the world map here and as you can see the articles here are pretty up to date. Here's one that was released 15 minutes ago here's one that was released 24 minutes ago so there is no way a, a normal Google search would come back with such quick results now I don't know about you guys but me myself when I'm looking for news I find it on Google and I think that's maybe the same for about 60-70% of people that are online eh, come to Google for their news so you could maybe be releasing articles on sport on business, on computers, on entertainment, on movie releases, anything, a whole wide spectrum of different things. So you will want your articles to appear in Google News, then you will receive a uh, maximum hits on your story. So we'll come over to Dreamweaver and we will get started. The first thing you want to do is come up to your main root of your folder, right click, create a new file and you want to call that file newssitemap.xml Now it's very important Google will not latch onto anything else unless it has the name news sitemap just the same as the server displays index.html as your home page eh, and you can't change it well same goes for the news sitemap so it needs to stay that name so I'm going to zoom out now the first line here will be in automatically as an XML document you just add these next two lines here I'll just zoom in you guys can pause the video just to catch those two lines there and then we'll get started actually creating the rest of the sitemap so I'm just going to hit return and we're going to get started so the first thing we're going to do is we're going to open up our URL tag and then we're going to type in URL. So after that we're going to hit return and we're going to open the location tag and we're going to put in the location of our actual news article. So http colon for slash for slash www dot helpfit dot net forward slash and I'm assuming your news articles will be in a folder named news. Uh, forward slash now here is the bit that is very important all news articles all stories anything that's submitted into any news must have at least three numbers so I'm just going to type in four random numbers anything and then you put in the name of your story or your article file dot h t m l so that's the actual location of my story it's in the news folder and I've put in the 7546 uh, indicator there I've recognised a lot of people maybe start at 1000 then the next one is 1001, 1002, 1003 so they can keep track of how many articles they've actually released into the 
8 news. So next we're going to open angle bracket forward slash and that will close our location. So that's the location to uh, deal with. The next thing we need to do is open up a news tag. So we want to open up angle bracket and we want to type N. And as you can see this little box is opening up here that will help you. You can just scroll down. So that's the one I'm looking for. So I'll just close the angle bracket there. So next I'm going to open up a publication tag. So I'm going to open up N colon and as you see this little thing pops up again. So I'm going to select that, it's my publication tag and the next one is your name uh, oops the next one is your name tag now the name is very important this needs to be the name when you apply to Google to appear in the Google News they will ask you the name of your business so you just type in this. the name must be the same as the name that you've given them so if I was applying I would give the name name I would just say helpfit or else you can put in helpfit.net and I'll just close off the name tag so again I'm going to open up another tag this time I want to put in the language tag um, and I'll just scroll down there there it is and I'm just going to put in the pretext EN for English. Now I'm assuming your sitemap's English. If you're going to have it in Spanish or anything else, um, I suggest you go and find out the pretext shortened letters for that language. So I'm going to close the language tag. And the next thing I want to do is open up a publication tag. So I'm going to open angle bracket and I'm going to put in N. I'll just scroll down here again for publication. Now it all depends, is your uh, news website a subscription, is it a blog, um, I'm just going to type in mine is user generated, so it's me, it's me that's doing it, user generated, or what that means if there's other people uh, writing, uh, oops, we just need to close this off just now, so we need a publication and then we need to put in N, and genius and then user generated so what this is saying is uh, whether it's me or whether it's someone else writing a story what this is telling Google is I've, I've read it so the user has read it, the user has generated it, the user has okayed it. Um, so the next thing we want to do is put in a publication date. So n colon publication date. Now 2010, 04, 03 I think it is the day, the third. And we're just going to close off the publication date. So the next thing we're going to do is we're going to put in the actual title. So we're going to hit return and we're going to put an open angle bracket N in fact we'll just put in publication we'll close our publication tag there and what we'll do is we'll just stop and we'll start again in the next tutorial because we're kind of running out of time so the first thing to do is just come up file save all and we'll just uh, start again in the next tutorial which I will get to work on straight away